Hi there, everybody, come back to French Shaves. It's Wednesday and it's time for another shave. It's this time of year. It's Halloween times. Dreadful cemetery is what we're using tonight. This is a Halloween release by uh, Ariana and Evans and the Shaving Shop The Club from. I think it's three years old. I'm quite sure it's from 2021. I could be wrong, it's in the uh, uh, 2E base, which stands there. I don't know what the New Year's base is. Um, it has hard knob, so this is quite a hard puck. It smells really complex. I don't know the scent notes, but it's dark and it's smoky, but it's still fresh. If that makes sense. Razor is the new released Yaki Torque. It's a slant headed adjustable razor. Goes from 1 to 10 actually. We will set it at setting number 3 for the first pass. Um, you can probably not see the numbers. I wish they painted those. Uh, and also the little dot there that marks the setting. Inside I got a third use Astra Green. This is high polished 316 stainless steel and it was kindly provided by Grace and Tim Yaki for review which was my last video before this on the channel. Brush of choice is my Frank Shaving. This is a bore brush 24mm. This um, bore knot is really starting to uh, soften up. And it's starting to get a nice splay on that. Um, if you are looking for some Frank shaving brushes, please use my uh, coupon code Fred underscore shaves at checkout, and it will give you some discount at the price. Uh, Frank shaving is also releasing some new brushes these days, Halloween themed brushes. So take a look at those as well. We're gonna load up here. This is a really, really dirty, thirsty soap base, and a little load goes a long way. So you don't need much, but I'm loading more than I need anyway because I'm using a bore brush and I want a good lather. This is my favorite part of the shape, but I think we are plenty there. Adding some cold water to the face. Yeah, it's a really strong scent. This is easily a seven or eight of the tub. Mm. So the E in the soap base, the two E stands for emu oil. Emu is a bird. For those of you who wonders, um, that scent. Really long time since last I used that soap. It's probably October last year, actually. It's a shame, really, because it's a brilliant soap base, and it's the only soap I got in this particular base. I got couple of other soaps from Ariana and Evans, but that's the older base, an old base, probably one of the first bases, I think. But then again, I could be wrong. So, we are adding water, because this is a thirsty beast. And that's this brush gives a phenomenal exfoliation and massage without being scritchy or scratchy anymore. It's starting to soft up beautifully. Boar brushes has traditionally been my least favorite, so to say. If you don't uh, count with the horse knots, I only tried one horse from um, I think it was a long brush and that was really tacky 
no taky byl i tangled. I tangled and I had to brush it, comb it out with a comb and I wasn't really satisfied, satisfied with that knot at all. Other horse brushes could be better. But in general I haven't been a very fan of boar. They are tending to eat the leather and some can be really hard on the skin. But these front shaving brushes, completely different story. Those are great, great boar knots. More water. More water. Lovely brush. And you can see it's producing a brilliant ladder. No problem whatsoever. Go. Hmm. Lowering my wrist as well. And my chain. I'm pretty much making a mess of myself. We need more water. I have put in tons of water in this ladder now. I'm gonna try to make it even more shiny. It just gobbles it up. Leather is running down the brush handle, and my hand looks like this, and my arm. So I think we are set. Really slick soap. I don't know if that's the emu oil or what it is, <coughs> but it's really slick. I wonder if it's something gum in this. Yogurt, he says. No, I don't know. Yeah, something gone. Yes, it is. That's why it's a thirsty beast. Okay, first pass goes with the grain. Really smooth race wrap setting number three. Weights in at 107 grams, this racer. Really well built. And it's a pleasure to use. I have used this racer in between this shave and the review video, which I did earlier this week. And a 
Men hvorfor gjør du da ikke inget? It makes nonsense on my two days of gold, that's for sure. That's due to pressure. I did press the razor there, I could feel it. And you should never press a D. Just let the weight of the razor do the work. Really nice leather. First pass done. Let's have a quick rinse. And it's tons of residual thickness. And that's up. This is the first ball knot I've come over that doesn't eat the leather. It just releases it in a really nice way. And it feels superb. It's still a bit stiff, but it's not uncomfortable. And I can feel it soften more and more up for each time I use it. Okay. Second pass, we're gonna go down to number, let's go down to number two. And we are <laughs> making sure we are adjusting the correct way. I do sense a light, light, light burning sensation on my face now. And that has been a thing with some of the soaps from Ariana and Evans for me. I got a burning sensation on the face from the soap itself. I'm not saying that's the problem with this one, it could be due to dry, full skin. It's not a bad burn but I, by any means, but I can sense it. And I don't like it. 
and don't want that burn on my face. Let's see how it feels on the third lather application. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely a small burn there, especially where my skin as it's is at its driest around my lips. I can really feel it. It's not as much as, as it's any problem to shave it, but it just annoys me. I don't want my soaps to burn. We are going all down to all the way down to setting number one for the third and final pass. And that is really mild. Really mild and forgiving. Yeah, a couple of weepers there on the chin. We are gonna bring out the album tonight. Taking care of those weepers. There as well. Bloody blood. I did have a little scab there on the top of a little mole which I cut open when I'll shave. Yeah. A little bit of blood tonight. Close and nice shape though. Okay, I'm going down for a cold water rinse. Stay tuned. Bleeding quite well over there. Huh. I didn't saw that coming. Looks like I've been bitten by a vampire or something. Let's see. Get some alum on. Oh yeah, I got burns. Hmm. Good stinging there on the chin. Yeah, look. It's bleeding like. Let's see. I don't think that 
that's all of me is enough for that. It's a little cut actually. Uh, let's see. Bring out my old stick stick. See if that can handle it. Goes. I'm gonna rinse out the brush while this thing is doing its job. Not much leather left there. So I'm more than just enough. now at least we'll see if it opens up again once I hit my face with the alcohol flash that may very well happen and lots of blood is shed tonight for the shaving gods but after all it's Halloween time so it just suits in for the overall theme of the month. To put it that way. Right. I think it's enough time for the other now. I'm gonna rinse off one last time with cold water. there hmm. mm. all right this face needs some treatment we're gonna put on the matching splash like the bottles that was a bottle Peter Chacalis uh, used once we were empty for the ordinary bottles, quite a big restrictor. Oops! And a really big splash. Mm. There I almost <laughs> emptied half a bottle. That was a big waste and it burns even if I've used all of them. <laughs> Not very happy with all that end. That was probably splashed enough for three shaves in that one dose. Ooh, it burns. <clears throat> yeah, no more blood though. Okay, we're gonna heat the face up with a touch of lotion of the shape bomb from Pearl. This is nice moisturizing stuff. My skin is having a little bit on its drier side these days. It has been quite cold. We had one morning 
32 degrees Fahrenheit and it was really cold. But we are warming up again now in the 40s at night and 50s daytime. So now it's better. That was a shame. Don and Dustin. The video has gone on more than long enough, so I just think I'm leaving you there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and until my next video, goodbye.